by luck of the draw, incumbent Republican David Yancey won a Virginia State House of Delegates race so close that its outcome was determined Thursday when an elections official pulled his name out of a ceramic bowl. The drawing of lots happened after the race between Yancey and Democratic challenger Shelley Simons ended in tie. The win allows Republicans to maintain a slim majority in the House, though a final tally is still uncertain because Simons could ask for another recount. Adding another wrinkle, another close legislative race is in doubt because it's locked in a court battle. The drawing drew a large, if lopsided, crowd to the Virginia Elections Board meeting. Many of the people packed into the room were either reporters or Simons supporters. Yancey did not attend but did have a few GOP staffers there to watch. The name of each candidate was printed on a piece of paper and placed into separate film canisters. The canisters were put into a cobalt blue and white ceramic bowl made by a local artist, stirred around and Yancey's name was chosen first. Slips of paper with the names of Virginia House of Delegates candidates Shelley Simons and David Yancey are drawn from a bowl during a meeting of the Virginia State Board of Elections in Richmond, Virginia on January 4, 2018. Slips of paper with the names of Virginia House of Delegates candidates Shelley Simons and David Yancey are drawn from a bowl during a meeting of the Virginia State Board of Elections in Richmond, Virginia on January 4. 2018. As Yancey's name was announced by board chairman James Alcorn, Simons sat stoically, holding the hands of her daughter and husband seated beside her. There were no cheers from Yancey's few supporters. The electric mood went suddenly still. Simons endured a long moment of silence as the elections officials certified Yancey as the winner. The only sound in the room was the clicking of cameras, most of which were trained on Simons. Many state workers and staffers who work for Democratic Gov. Terry McAuliffe quickly left the room, disappointed and Simons addressed the media. This is a sad conclusion for me, she said. However, she did not rule out asking for a recount, saying that her options were still on the table. Republican incumbent State Dell. David Yancey, right, walks with campaign manager Gretchen Keel outside the courthouse in Newport News. Virginia, on December 21, 2017. Republican incumbent State Dell. David Yancey, right, walks with campaign manager Gretchen Keel outside the courthouse in Newport News, Virginia, on December 21, 2017. House Republican leader Kirk Cox said shortly after the drawing that Yancey's win had cemented GOP control of the state house when the 2018 legislative session starts next week, even if Simons asks for another recount. Republicans currently control the chamber 51 to 49. If Simons pursued a recount, if wouldn't be complete before the session starts and Cox said neither Yancey or Simons would be seated until a winner was finalized. That would still allow Republicans to elect a speaker and make committee assignments based on a 50 to 49 advantage. The race between Yancey, a three term incumbent, and Simons has bounced back and forth since the November election, when Virginia Democrats, fueled by voter anger directed at Republican President Donald Trump, wiped out a 66 to 34 advantage held by Republicans in the House.